Hey guys, so excuse my ratchet appearance. I've been sleeping on a couch for the past two days. But anyway, um, I just did a thing. I just did a thing. <sighs> so most of you probably don't know, but I had back dermals for about almost five years. I had them once pierced and it was a pretty sloppy job. The guy that did them didn't line them up properly. So they were, one was a little bit higher than the other and the whole process is just, I guess, not good. Um, they rejected within a year. So fortunately after that experience, I, I actually met this really amazing piercer who I'm so grateful for and I'm so happy he's in my life. And he's done so many of my piercings now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Chris. I will definitely link him down in the description. And he he works in Miami. So if anybody is in the Miami area or anybody coming to Miami and is looking to get a tattoo or a piercing, hit him up. And um, tell him Evelyn sent you. And anyway, so he was so nice. And five years ago, removed those dermals for me and redid them on the spot. So he removed them and he did them over like it didn't, the old placements had, like they didn't interfere whatsoever with the new placement because it was just that bad. <laughs> like they weren't in the place they were supposed to be at all. So yeah. And he did them for me and it was actually really great. He was so good about it. He he knew I was so traumatized so we pretty much like drew a freaking tree on my back that's how symmetrical I wanted it to look we actually like sat down and like lined my entire back so it came out perfect and after that I had them for almost five years until today and reason I got them out they were actually perfect like they were perfect 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 even now they were still very good um thing with dermals are no matter how great they are they'll still like they'll still get stuck on clothes no matter what they will get stuck on your clothes promise and one of them i guess at one point i yanked on it really hard and it didn't like pop out or anything but it did come a little closer to the surface so it had a little more movement in it and it just, I guess, healed that way afterwards, which the healing process is incredible for dermals. They heal in like two days because it's such like an internal piercing. It doesn't matter. No, it Sorry, I'm in my car and people keep coming up to me to try to give me, uh, try to sell me things. Yeah. Um, go to Miami. I'm actually in Hialeah. Represent, if anybody knows Hialeah life. Yeah, Hialeah. And... So, but anyway, back to the story. Yeah, dermals heal really fast. And even the removal heals really fast. I will I guess I'll document it and like, probably won't document it. I'll just probably make a note of it on Instagram or something and tell you guys how fast it took to heal. But the they were good reason I got my babies removed. They've traveled everywhere with me, guys. They've got to so many places. They went with me when I lived in Italy. They went with me when I lived in Spain. They were there for France too. They've been there for so many different countries. They've pretty much gone through all of college with me. <laughs> They've been around. And yeah, I got them removed because it was just time. It, some, it would get a little annoying with yoga at times. If some of you guys don't know, I do a lot of yoga and I'm an instructor. So it's just, it gets annoying. And certain clothing gets annoying. Honestly, one of the biggest things I can't wear onesies because onesies will sometimes tug on them. That's a problem. God, I'm such a loser. But yeah, so they're gone. They're removed and I filmed it. So you guys will get to see that disgusting footage. Well, it's actually not gross. I don't think it's bad. But some of you will probably get a little grossed by it. If you don't like seeing these kind of things, don't watch the end but yeah it's there and as you'll see in the video like it was a very simple like the one that was a little bit 
higher up to the surface it was very simple to pop out that was the first one we removed and then the second one uh the really tight one it's that one was like fucking there like he was sticking like he did not want to go anywhere but we eventually got him out and if you guys don't know dermals have this little hole on the anchor i actually kept them they're a little gross right now because i gotta clean them out but um i decided to keep them because they're my babies and they've been with me for so freaking long but let me see if you guys can see in there so i don't know if you can tell but the back piece of them are there's like a little hole in the middle and in that hole your skin actually heals around it so it just it gets like a tighter kind of like i don't know pretty much it goes anchored into your skin you'll see in the video and it has a, like a flat piece which lies against your skin and in between there's a little hole and in between that hole like pretty much one layer of skin and the other layer of skin kind of heals through it so that there's far less movement like to anchor it in place and when we removed it the really 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 stiff one i guess started like it was so hard to remove the one that was like so tight in there that afterwards like some skin i guess came out with it because and that was the skin that was like attached through the hole and then we just had to like pull off that skin i know it's so yummy so yeah uh you guys can watch the video check it out check out chris and i am right now in the process of moving back to europe i just got my other visa and i'll probably be posting some videos on travel stuff soon travel in the sense of like sorry there was a bus passing travel in the sense of like how to go about getting a visa a student visa all these things getting an extension because the extension has been a very complicated part so i'll talk a little bit about the extension i'll talk a little bit about how do i get to live in all these places and yeah but i am about to pack again and buy my ticket and i'll probably be this is when it's wednesday today i'll probably be there I'll be leaving on Saturday. I'll probably be in Madrid for about a week working on my finals and then once my finals are done I move to Paris and I'll probably be staying in Paris for something between like six to nine months. We'll see. But yeah, I'll see you guys soon. It's nice to be back. Again, excuse my lovely wretched self. Also check out the shirt. Isn't this shirt amazing? It's a little dandelion. It says blow me. It's so cute. But yeah.
great tendencies. Five years from now, but no, these are my first proper terminals. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We're very tiny, Ben. <laughs> you see? <laughs> She's already attached to them. She's not gonna let them go. There you go. <laughs> They've traveled all over. Yeah, That's true. They've all traveled a little dermal. <laughs>